Okay, so the idea is with um, something like Google Docs. Microsoft has their own version, too. Um, I have to look it up, but it's probably something like um, online.office.com, something like that. I have to confirm it. Microsoft has their own version, too, meaning a website online where you can go visit and create documents. Uh, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, PowerPoint, etc. Those are the classic productivity office software. But traditionally, you needed to have it installed on your computer. You needed to be sitting at your computer to write your documents. You needed to be at your computer to um, open your documents and edit them again. Well, now that we've got the internet, and we've got the ability to connect to things in the cloud from any um, computer, as long as you have an internet connection, well, Google put out a system that's always online. So your documents, they're not, that document we're looking at is not getting saved to my USB drive. It's not getting saved to my home computer. It's getting saved to my account in the cloud, online, in my Google account, which again is a free account. And so from there, I can create as many of these documents that I want, I really, I'm not going to run out of space. They, they give you for free like two gigabytes of space. And even like the biggest presentation document of 40 pages is going to take up so little space that they give you so much space to put your content there. And so what's even better is that uh, it's collaborative. And that's what we're doing right now. After uh, stepping on our toes for a moment, we figured it out. And now we've been able to all contribute to the document. We've all been able to edit it. So then, at a certain point, I can say then to, I can, uh, I have a button here somewhere in my, since I'm the editor here, I'm signed in and I've got my, my account there. I have an option somewhere in the document, I'll find it in a moment, where then I can lock it and I can say no more changes. I can lock the document at this point and then um, I can... Uh, have you still look at it, but no longer edit it. Uh, a little pen right here. Oh, okay. Editing, document, suggesting. Um, okay, let's see if I change it over to viewing. Well, that changes it for myself. I want to change it for everyone. And it's going to be in here in some setting, probably in share. Oh, here we go. So. Um, let me just see. If you haven't finished typing, that's okay. I'm going to see what happens if I change it to view in the middle of people looking at it. Uh, so I think I've changed it over to view only. So if you're looking at the document and you try to write to it, I think now it won't let you write anymore. Maybe after I save it. But anyway, uh, I can put out the the document. I can share the link to people and people can can add to it. We did it in this way that, oh, here we go. So you have been signed to another account. Okay, there we go. So eventually it might then say you, you don't have editing ability anymore. That's fine. If you didn't finish typing, don't worry about it. I'll activate it again in a moment. But then you see now what I've done is I've gone in and I've um, changed it so that all of you can at least still look at it, but you can't edit it anymore. Now you can write, can you write suggestions? At the top right corner we had editing, suggesting viewing. I guess if you sign in it'll let you write suggestions. So you won't be able to write on the document directly, but you'll be able to add a suggestion, like a note to the side of it. It asks you to sign in so that it knows who made the suggestion, but you don't have to do that. I'm just showing that. I created the document, I put it out for you, you logged into it and made changes, then I locked it so that I can review the changes, and uh, it's very powerful and for free. Let me just confirm the other one. I think it's online.office.com. What is it? Office.com.
I'll find it in a moment and I'll put the link in there, but there's a link uh, to get Office for free online as well. And it's the same thing. You'll be able to create documents and share them and all of that. So I'm going to take a moment to kind of browse these answers for a bit and maybe say a few things. So some experience in Facebook, intermediate, um, intermediate, fair, limited, very limited, intermediate. So there seem to be very few that have a, a very low experience in in social media and even if you I didn't ask what is your level of experience in using social media professionally right I just basically said any experience in social media because even if you just use Facebook to connect with friends and family and share funny cat pictures you have some experience in social media you have the experience about I click this button to attach a photo well that's still enough of the experience to start using it for for business if you have if you have not or don't use any of the social media okay then then at that level you you do have very little experience which obviously you'll only be gaining more uh, so let's see some people's answers how do you plan to use it promote the business good lead generation uh, prompt our business promote yeah there's a, I don't know where this came from, it says signed in, you've been signed into another Google property from another tab. It, it popped up on mine too, it's just I guess it gets confused when I changed it from everyone can edit to everyone can view. It got confused, so just close that and you should then still be able to see the, the document. Let's see, people want to use it for business combined with personal to promote business, lead generation, marketing tool, non-profit. Uh, game clients, uh, health clinic, open a business. Yeah, so putting this prompt out, if I were to put this prompt out on day one of last month, I'm sure the answers would have been very different than right now where we've had already about four or five weeks of experience if you've taken the previous class. So that's interesting for me to look at how people are responding what they've had experience in, perhaps, what they've done so far. Let me see a few of those. Mostly posting shark dog pictures. Is that is that a real thing? Shark dogs? Yes. Do they become dogs now? Uh -huh. yes. Okay. Okay. Um, Can you share an example? <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to, actually, I, I wasn't able to pull an image off a download, so I was going to put it in there, but now forgive me if I'm dense. So is it dogs that are sharks or do it's are sharks that are the wearing shark fins. Oh okay. They shark fins for dogs. Okay, okay, that's fine. And then when they're swimming in the ocean, they look yeah. like little, yeah. little sharks. Mm -hmm. So here we see a variety of people then saying what they've done so far, some using it for personal. Uh, some people uh, don't like uh, Facebook apparently here, like me. And um, that's that answer there. And uh, using it for business just as a viewer that's the very common one there that people are using social media uh, I would call it as a consumer because we have consumer versus creator we are consuming content on social media whereas in this class we're talking about creating content as social media so most people are the consumers in social media just like TV I'm gonna consume a TV show but I can't make my own TV show well sure you can you go to you know the local public access, access TV channel you make your own TV show there. It's a lot easier on social media to be a creator. Generating brand awareness, posting on Facebook, personal and business, using LinkedIn, personal, and haven't used it much. So again, there's a variety of uh, there's a variety of uh, responses here, and I always think it's interesting to get information. From, from the class to get a sense of things. So the point of this was was two things. One was to show you Google Docs. It's a way for you to create a document, share it with multiple people, everyone can look at it, everyone can edit it. And secondly, it's useful for me to look at to see what people's experiences are and where they're coming from.
so the link to that is in the network folder. Uh, I'm going to turn it back on to edit, just if you still want to contribute to it. Can you email this out to someone? Yes. Um, let me turn it back to edit. Let's see, there's a button. After I turn the ability back to edit, there should then be, in one moment, there should be the ability to share it. So after that kind of saves and you get a, and you get the copy of it in a bit, there will be the the share button. Or also that link right there, that link right up on the address bar, you can just copy that link and then share it, email it to people, and then further pass the document on. <coughs> so a Google Doc can also be shared by more people, not just the creator. You can click the share button to email it, or copy paste the address, the URL of the document, and then send it off to people in your email or other ways. So I'm going to leave that document up online, and I'm going to leave the link in the network folder. That's uh, all I wanted to do with it for the moment. I wanted to just introduce Google Docs for a bit, show you how it worked. How many of you had ever heard of Google Docs before I mentioned it today? Okay, most people. How many of you had used Google Docs before today? Okay, less people. How many of you have had shared a document for more people to work on? And then a few overachievers. Okay, cool. So um, I just then uh, showed you that if you hadn't done it before. And uh, it's a free account that you can get docs.google.com for you so to if set you that up. Send it out and share it with other people, then they can actually add or subtract or do things to it? Yes. So where is your control in that one then? Okay, so Once me. You shared it, 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 not the creator and you share it with someone else. It depends on how you've set it up as the creator. I created it and I put it completely open for anyone to do anything. When I created it, I could have set the parameters up here on my share. I have it here. Anyone with the link can do what they want. No sign in required. So I can go in here and set it actually. Um, only specific people can access. I can set it up in a way that only people, I can go here, who actually, who can further edit it how I s specify it. So I put it the most open, but there are ways then here, so. So by default when you log in and create the document, you're the only one who has control over it, mm -hmm. and whoever you link it out to would be able to edit. By if, default. If I, yes. If, if I did nothing in the sharing thing, then by default I'm the, I'm the ultimate control and everybody I link to has edit capability. Yes. Okay. So also what I have here as the creator of it, I've got a screen where I can see the, the history of what the edits were. See. document details I've got a screen they change this stuff all the time so I need to take a moment to find it but there's a screen where I can see all of the previous changes to the document somewhere I'll find it in a moment, but there's um, there's that ability. Now this, I don't have the microphone set up, but this also has the ability, if you notice up on tools, voice typing. If I have 
a microphone on my computer, um, I can turn that on and, and dictate to this. And it'll capture my voice and do a pretty good job, I guess, depending on our dialects, that it'll capture what we're saying and convert it to text. So that you can, you can usually do that with, with a laptop. Laptops often have a microphone built in. I've got this desktop computer which doesn't have a built-in microphone. Uh, but if I've got that set up, then I've got voice typing for, for me to capture it via dictation. And there's a shark doc. So any questions on, um, any questions on Google Docs before we go to the main topic of today? So anything we've talked about so far? I thought you said that if we were logged in, that when we entered the document, we would come up as ourselves? Yes, you... I, I didn't. Did you refresh the screen? Click, click the little refresh button. It should... Yeah, I mean, I, I put my name there, but there's no, like... I don't see the little uh, icon thing with the name next to it. And I, and I, it might just take a moment for... <clears throat> For that to refresh itself, but. but but should I have just had to hit return at your your heading, your 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 last item in the heading? I should have just gone there and hit return, and I would have gotten. The point of having your name appear and such is just going to be. Uh, to sh it's not going to show visibly here. It's going to show on your cursor. And it's going to show up on your account on the top right. Right, but uh, when I started, oh, okay, there it is. Yeah, sometimes so it's... That's you. Yeah, mine. There's a cursor right after my name, but it's you. Oh, well. Okay, never mind. I'm probably not going to share mine anyway. <laughs> It'll appear there eventually. It might just take a moment to refresh itself. Uh, did I see another hand somewhere? No. Okay, so... Um, this is Google Docs, very useful as a collaborative tool, free account, set it up to create your editorial calendar or your um, style guide, share it with multiple people, give different people access. So final questions on that before we move on to today's social network. So I'm just uh, going to log out of mine. You can close those windows if you want. So then up here it says people are logging out. See how it's decreasing down there. We still have the hyena hanging around, and the duck, the dolphin, the coyote, and the cheetah. Anyway, okay, so we'll talk about the main topic, the main social network for today.